standing by in the radio barn. Wind do any damage to the crops out there? Not that I've heard of yet, Mark, but we do have to be kind of keeping an eye on that. Remember, there were storms that came through southern Wisconsin earlier this year that caused some damage and bent our corn over. So those stalks are already in a compromised position. If there's fields that didn't get harvested and we got that kind of strong wind you were just talking about, it could go down. Fortunately, I think with our mechanical harvesting, we'll still be able to pick it up, but it'll take time and a whole lot of patience. Let's take a look at the markets. Uh, Livestock-wise around Wisconsin, things are holding fairly steady. Finished beef steers continue 108 to 120. 20, topping at 123 per pound for the whole animal around southern Wisconsin. Holstein steers are at a dollar to a dollar eleven. Cows 52 to 72 cents pound. Holstein bull calves are still topping at 135, and the heifers 200 with beef calves up to 225. Now the grain trade is a little mixed on the midday. I just took a look uh, while Mr. Food was on. The corn market is actually up about four cents right now. Just like Wall Street, the commodities are paying attention to the upcoming G20 meeting that's going to be taking place this weekend. European union has to decide how much money they want to put towards Greece's debt situation. That beige book that was released yesterday by the Federal Reserve didn't really paint a bright picture for the U.S. economy. So again, our commodities kind of fall prey to that outside news as well. Dairy on the midday, class three cheese milk is continuing to drift lower. We've also got barrel cheese that's down two and a half today at 169 and a half. Otherwise, all our product prices are unchanged. Wisconsin milk production for the month of September went up 1.8 percent compared to a year ago. Same number of cows in Wisconsin, but every cow out there producing on average about 15 pounds of milk more this year than she did last year. Not all states that fortunate. Minnesota and Missouri saw milk production declines. The big gainers, Florida, with 11% increase in September milk and Texas up 10% primarily because they got 20,000 more milk cows this year than last. So that's what's happening in the old farm suite on a blustery Thursday. This is one of those days when I'd like to just go home and go to bed. Yeah, absolutely. I I hear you. Drags it out. Yeah.